Vijaya and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make Kashmiri lamb rogan josh. Rogan josh actually has Persian origins. The word rogan means oil and the word josh means heat. So it means hot oil and this is a super delicious curry that's really simple to prepare. It takes a little bit of time because there are marination steps and cooking steps but trust me when you eat the final outcome it'll be totally worth it. As always, if you're looking for the recipe and ingredients, they're listed down below in the information box, so click it to expand, and then you'll be good to go. Let's get started. So I have a pound and a half of lamb meat that I've cut into cubes, and don't worry if there are bits of fat or bone, that adds a lot of flavor to the curry, so leave that in place. And we're gonna marinate it, okay? Because marinating gives it a lot of flavor. So we have a bunch of spices here. This is my homemade blend of garam masala. I know you guys are super familiar with it. Recipes on my channel. Then we have a little bit of fennel, which is a signature flavor in Rogan Josh. Some Kashmiri chili powder. We'll see this again later on in the recipe. And this is milder than regular chili powder and it has a more fruity flavor. As well as the classics, a little bit of grated ginger, some garlic and some salt. And those all go into the mix. And then here is another ingredient for marination and that is the addition of yogurt. So we're just using some plain yogurt here. Not too much. We just want it to get nice and coated. And what happens is that the yogurt really, really tenderizes the meat as it sits, really breaks down those connective tissues and makes it really nice and tender. So with this meat, you're gonna wanna marinate it for a minimum of half an hour to an hour to a maximum of 24 hours. Obviously, the longer you marinate it, the more tender it'll be and the faster it'll cook. So I'm just gonna pop this into the fridge and we'll move on to our next step. So there are absolutely no tomatoes in this lamb rogan josh. And the way that it gets its beautiful bright red color is with this. This is called ratan jot. And this is used a lot in Indian cuisine to give certain curries and things like tandoori chicken its bright color. So what we're gonna do is just break it into the bowl. You don't need a lot. And I'm just gonna heat up some oil and pour it over. All right, so my oil is nice and hot. You want it almost smoking. And look what happens when I pour it over. Immediately the ratan jot sort of begins to leach its beautiful crimson red color. And that's just gonna be beautiful in this curry. So you're just gonna let it steep and then we'll work on searing our meat. Okay, so I have some oil in a pan, it's nice and hot. And to that I'm gonna add my marinated meat slowly. Oh yeah, and that's the sound you want to hear, that crackle. And we're just gonna cook it until the meat is nice and brown and caramelized on all sides. So my meat has browned beautifully. As it was cooking, it was letting out a lot of juice, but that juice is concentrated down and now it's beginning to coat the meat. So I'm just gonna pull this off into a bowl and then we'll be ready for our next step. All right, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil to the bottom of the pan. And to that, I'm gonna add my whole spices. So I have some beautiful sweet cinnamon, some whole fennel. So remember we used fennel powder in the marinade for the lamb? Well, this is the whole fennel. This is black cardamom, you guys. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's similar to um, the green cardamom over here, except it has a smokier, spicier flavor. We have some whole peppercorns, of course, green cardamom, and some cloves. And these are gonna go in just to toast up, and this process takes about 15 to 20 seconds, no longer, or you risk your spices burning. So just watch it, watch them pop. And you can tell when they're ready when the cloves have puffed up, and they have puffed up. Now to that, I'm gonna add a big bunch of thinly sliced onions. And we're gonna cook these until they soften up become nice and translucent and slightly caramelized. Check out these onions, they brown really nicely and the reason why they're brown like this is that they picked up all the little brown bits that the lamb has left behind as well as we're cooking them out low and slow. Now to this I'm gonna add some ginger and garlic and we add it now so that it doesn't burn. 
and then cook this out for another minute or so. I can't even begin to tell you how amazing this smells. Now in goes the lamb, joining the onions, ginger, and garlic. I want to scrape every last bit of lamb juice into there because that is flavor, people. Give that a nice toss. And now, this is how we're gonna create the base of our gravy, okay? I'm adding a little bit of whole yogurt, plain yogurt, and that's gonna give us a beautiful, unctuous texture, as well as a little bit of acidity to balance out the flavors in the curry. And a little bit of water, or a lot of water actually, and don't be surprised by this because this water is gonna help the lamb braise and break down and it will eventually reduce and really thicken into a beautiful lush curry. And now we're moving on to the final layer of seasoning. So I'm going in with this gorgeous Kashmiri chili powder. Again, it's not super spicy, just has a lot of great flavor. And it's gonna add a beautiful color. A little bit of salt as well, let's not forget that oil that we steeped with the ratan jot. So you don't want those little bits, you just want the oil. You're gonna hold it back and pour that in. And guys, as this cooks down, I can't even begin to tell you the color that it takes on. Already you can tell how gorgeous it is. But as it cooks down, it's gonna achieve this sort of deep mahogany color and the oil will float over the top. It's simply beautiful. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna lower my heat to about medium low. I'm gonna cover my pot and this is gonna cook for an hour and a half and you're gonna stir every 10 minutes or so to make sure nothing sticks and then we're gonna have a gorgeous lamb rogan josh. All right, our curry has been cooking for the last hour and a half. Let's check on it to see how it's doing. Oh, wow, look at that color. Unbelievable to think that, you know, when we started off it was kind of light, and then now it's this sort of intense, intoxicating red color. It's thickened up beautifully, and as it sits, it'll thicken up even more. I can't wait to try it. Let's grab the perfect piece. Here we go, this is the one. Oh yes. This is good. Mmm! It is so good. It just literally melted in my mouth. It is so tender. And that's what happens when you cook meats at a low temperature for a long period of time. All those connective tissues and tendons, they break down and they become fatty and rich. So, so good. I love this curry because it's super mild. It's not very spicy because we use Kashmiri red chilies. Those are singing through nice and gently. You got the hum of all the spices. And the kicker with this one is the addition of yogurt instead of tomatoes. You have that beautiful rounded tang. I can't wait to eat this with a whole bunch of naan, some rice. It's gonna be so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big old thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe for more videos. And as well, as what? Well, as always, I think this happened in the last video as well. As always, if you have a comment or suggestion for me, leave it down below. Until my next video, I'll see you later. Bye.